In today's movie, we're gonna have a look at a beautiful chess game played by world champion Magnus Carlsen. Although at this point, uh, this game was played in 2003 and uh, Magnus was quite young at that point. Although I don't think there is any point, there was any point in Magnus Carlsen's uh, career that we can say he was not a strong player. I mean, he was always a strong player. Even as a kid, he was very, very strong. So, this was 2003, still Magnus found a beautiful way. And at this point, he was particularly sharp. He was like a... He was like a beast. He was defeating grandmasters left and right. And so at this point of his career, he was quite uh, tactical in nature. So white to play. Magnus is white here. What should white play? Give yourself a few seconds. Pause the video if you like and try to find the beautiful move that Magnus played and went on to win. All right. So let's have a look at this beautiful move. Magnus in this position played bishop to g6 now this is a bishop sacrifice what's the point well the king can't really move anywhere over here here or here so basically that bishop has to be captured what happens if that is captured with the king well now we say the now we see the beautiful combination between the queen and knight all we have to play is shift the queen to the king side queen h5 that's a check and that comes with a checkmate what a beautiful checkmate all right let's go back at this position he can also play Rook takes bishop. What do we play now? White plays queen to e7 and again we have a beautiful checkmate. I think this is called as a paulate made. Do correct me if I'm wrong but I as as long as I know I think this is called as a paulate made or probably the dovetail made. Not really sure with the terminology. You do correct me if I'm wrong and let me know in the comments uh, which checkmate is this. It's whatever it is it, I think it's incredibly beautiful. And young Magnus instantly found this move bishop to g6 without uh, spending a lot of time. So Magnus at this point in his career was incredibly powerful. And uh, we're going to see if he can hold his title. I do feel like he can. Although he has to uh, although he has to change some of his methods. But I think it is Nepo who has to go through a lot of changes. Because Nepo has some serious weaknesses. So stay tuned for that. Let's see what happens. And until next time.